Hello students, welcome to our study of calculus. We'll begin the study of calculus by understanding what a function is from the real line to the real line, or from subsets of the real line to subsets of the real line. So in general, a function is a rule which assigns to each element x in a set x capital. So I pick a x, and this still means in. I pick an x in my set x capital, which is referred to as the domain. It assigns to each element in the domain a unique element in the range, in the codomain. Okay. Now, what we're going to use this primarily in the case when x and y are either the real numbers or subsets of the real numbers. So let me show you a couple of examples of this. So here's an example of a function. Example. f is a function which inputs a real number, that's my domain, and outputs a real number, that's my codomain. And what's the rule? The rule is the following. The rule is f of x is 3x plus 421. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to input a real number, and I'm going to output a real number, 3x plus 421. So for example, if we were to plug in 0 to this function, that would be 3 times 0 plus 421, which should be 421. Okay, if I was to plug 1 into this function, I would have 3 times 1 plus 421. So this will be 3 and 421, that's going to be 424. I can also plug in negative numbers to this expression over here. So I have f of negative 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1 plus 421, right? And that will be 418, 418. So we see over here that to every value x, for every real value x in my domain, these are elements of the domain, I output a number. These will be, we'll call these range, but in principle they just live in the codomain. So these live in the codomain. In fact, these points are going to be elements of the what? We're going to see these are later elements of the range of the function. So that's an example of a function. And let me uh, convince you that we're very, very comfortable and used to functions from ordinary pre-calculus and other classes over here. So for example, I can do another example of a function over here. I can look at the function f, which maps r into. Now I'm going to do some interval notation over here. I'm just going to say 0 to plus infinity. And what rule is this over here? So this function f of x we'll just output the absolute value of x, okay? And so we have some special properties of this function. We can start to sort of see um, interesting things with the properties of this function. So for example, one really interesting property of this function is that f of x plus y, which is the absolute value of x plus y, is less than or equal to f of x plus f of y, which is equal to absolute value of x plus absolute value of y. That's called the triangle inequality, triangle inequality. And there's also a nice geometric way to think about functions, especially if we're talking about functions between the, uh, between the real numbers and the real numbers. If our input is a real number, what we're going to do is we're going to put our input, the inputs of the function or the domain over here, we'll put the domain on the horizontal axis, then we'll draw a perpendicular axis over here, and this perpendicular axis will be the output or the codomain. So we can analytically visualize and geometrically visualize functions by plotting a graph, and we'll call this the two-dimensional real space. So if, in particular, if the domain is, if the codomain and the domain are real dimensional space, then this over here is called the Cartesian plane after Ren, Ren, uh, Rene Descartes, Cartesian plane. And then we write it algebraically as R2. And now our objective is to say that I want to be able to plug in points x, so we want to be able to plug in points x over here, like maybe like 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or negative 1 or 0, and I want to output the corresponding y value of my function. So this, this corresponding point over here would be the point f of negative 1. If I went over here and plotted my point over here, that would be the corresponding point f of 2. If I did this over here, if the value of the function was over here, that would correspond to the value f of 4. So we're plotting our range values or our codomain values on this, what we'll call the y-axis, typically called y, and we'll plot our input values, we we'll call it the y-axis, 
and we call this the x-axis, and we'll plot our input values on the x-axis, and we'll get all Cartesian pairs to represent a function geometrically. Thank you very much.